It's been more than three weeks since India's lunar spacecraft began its moonward journey. This weekend, the craft got captured by lunar gravity and is now orbiting the moon. The Indian Space Agency is now taking steps to push the craft closer to the lunar surface. In this report, our senior correspondent Siddharth MP tells us more. India's third lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3, was launched on July 14th. In just 16 minutes, the LVM-3 rocket put the craft in the Earth's orbit. The craft performed multiple maneuvers to push itself further from the Earth. It eventually pushed itself outside the Earth's gravitational influence. Thereafter, the craft set out on a journey towards the vicinity of the Moon. After a three-week journey in space, the craft has been captured by lunar gravity. Chandrayaan-3 was captured by lunar gravity on Saturday, 5th August. India's lunar spacecraft Chandrayaan-3 is now circling the moon. The Indian space agency ISRO also shared this video filmed by the craft. In a significant feat by the Indian Space Agency, all three lunar spacecrafts built and launched from India, Chandrayaan-1, Chandrayaan-2 and Chandrayaan-3 have successfully orbited the Moon. Chandrayaan-3 is close to its final destination. The journey towards a lunar soft landing has begun. Initially, Chandrayaan-3 has been circling the Moon in a highly elliptical orbit. This means the craft is 164 kilometers from the Moon at its closest point in orbit and 18,074 kilometers from the Moon at its farthest point. In the late hours of Sunday, ISRO performed the first lunar orbit reduction of Chandrayaan-3 and brought the craft to an orbit of 170 to 4,313 kilometers. To push the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft away from the Earth, the Indian Space Agency ISRO commanded the craft to perform orbit-raising maneuvers. However, to get closer to the lunar surface, the craft will have to perform a reverse process. This is known as orbit reduction maneuver or an engine retrofiring. So far, the craft has performed one engine retrofiring and this is the maiden retrofiring after the craft got captured by lunar gravity. The next retrofiring will be carried out on Wednesday noon. And by the 17th of August, ISRO hopes to perform a total of four retro firings of this sort. And each of these will bring it into a closer orbit that is closer to the lunar surface. Let's remember that by 17th August, the Indian Space Agency hopes that the craft will be in a 100 by 100 kilometers orbit around the moon. And thereafter, the processes that are required for lunar landing can be carried out in a smooth manner. Lunar landing so far is planned for the 23rd of August in the evening hours. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, we on World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.